Okay, this is a quick video on showing you how to remove um, a board and reinstall it. Um, we've already done a video on how to remove a board, but thought we might as well combine them together in this one, so um, makes it a lot easier for you to understand. Pretty straightforward, and um, we're at the stage where the light rings come off. If you need any information on how to strip these down, we've done another video on how to strip them down. This one is solely about basically putting another board back in to the unit. Um, so what we're gonna do is remove the side cover. Um, you've got the board in one side. And you've got a battery in the other side. So you remove the battery first. It's always a battery first you take out. Just connect that. This is literally for demonstration purposes. Just taking the thing apart. Works perfectly fine, don't need to swap it out. Um, but do it anyway and note how the cables run so you've got the two light ring cables that come out of there not strapped behind this and you've got the cable there and there so just need to take those off like that free those up make sure they're not connected anymore spin it over and then what you want to do is you want to remove the other side Now, of course, this is going to be the board side. Like that, and you'll see the board. Know exactly how it's laid out. You can see the black cable, which comes from the motor, runs up through, it's got a twist, comes back through. You've got screw, screw, and a screw. Same other side, screw, screw, and a screw. And then you've got the cables laid out again, but as you can see, the light ring cables are underneath this clip here and it's just a case of pulling this up and just slowly removing these cables out so they're now free you disconnect this cable there you go so then now all the cables are free and you should be able to pull those through and pull the battery one through so then that leaves basically nothing attached at all apart from the motor cable and the board itself pinned down by these screws before you try and remove this, um, you need to undo these. This makes this loose and then you, it's easier to remove the black cable going to the motor. So let's spin these off. Um, I would recommend not using a power drill. Use a standard screwdriver. It's a Phillips screwdriver. I'm doing this for speed. So you don't have to watch me for ages I'm doing stuff. Um, obviously we do a lot of maintenance here. Speedy beat. So it speeds it up for us. But as you'll be doing it once, most likely, if you're watching this video, um, use a normal screwdriver. So what you've got is you've got this board now that's loose, so you can disconnect this cable. I'll show you to do that in a second. But a quick note, you've got a backing plate here, which is a metal plate that runs around here, up here, and around like that. Some of the older versions, there's a smaller square at the back, but it's the same function slowly lift this up and it releases that cable as you can see now you've got an arrow on this cable so when you put it back together again you need to align those arrows so slowly pull it apart it's quite a tight fitting by the way there you go pull that apart and that's the board out done the important thing to remember is that it's got a grommet behind here that stops the dirt coming into the board um, from this area don't forget to put that back in and when you do put it back in there's a recess around here make sure it's actually slotted in to that recess um, and not sat outside it otherwise you get it pinched and you let water and all sorts through doesn't matter too much if it's dirt in there but it helps restrict it you don't want too much as you can probably see here this plate it's held on it's not this board isn't held onto this plate in any way at all apart from the paste on this unit here so you need to have some paste a bit like this um, it's the same stuff as you use um, on a processor in a computer it's for the heat sink basically um, so it disperses the heat but if you slide it around it comes off and that's what you have you have the board and the plate the plate is what's sat there and this is the board so you need to put 
oops, I just lost a screw. That's the thing to be careful of. You take the screws out. There's me waving it around. Um, you need to put paste on here. So smear some paste on, be quite liberal with it, and then put it back on here. Um, if you're replacing a board, you'll need to wipe all this down again and clean it because you'll have bits of dirt you'll be able to make out in there already. Um, so wipe that down, put new paste on, make sure it's all lovely clean and tidy. Same with the grommet, clean it all up, make sure it's all fresh and new. And then you just reverse exactly what we've done. This stuff gets everywhere, so be sure to have a cloth ready or something. Um, so you just do the exact reverse of what we've just done, which is you put this plate on first. Try and do it one-handed, not ideal. So make sure the grommet's on correctly, the plate goes on there. You've got your paste on the board. You put the cable in first, line up the arrows, push it in, put it back down, screw it all back down again, and then run the cables back through exactly the same way. It is as simple as that. Really hope this video helps you change your board.